Hey you guys, it's Mickey Sad off of YouTube again! Huh? Yeah. Yeah. What are we doing today? Well, we're looking at uh, shadow play now, isn't it? Yeah, we've done we've done some other stuff. We're gonna have a look at shadow play. So, um, shadow play is a free piece of software that you get if you have an Nvidia graphics card. So, with a more modern card, what its job is to do really is to use a specific chip on your graphics card to be able to record gameplay for you without having an impact on your frame rates and things. But something really weird happens with Shadow Play, uh, and I'll tell you. I, I'm going to tell you the results of one of the tests that I did. I was recording with Shadow Play, and I was recording Project Cars. I got confused for a second, and when I'm not recording with Shadow Play, I average about ninety something FPS. Sometimes can get up to about ninety something. Uh, average probably um, around. I think I've got it marked at about eighty two as an average, without recording. But I was recording with Shadow Play, and my average FPS was 103 on Project Cars. So I don't really get what's going on. It's over 60 anyway. I don't really understand that. So it's going to be a bit of an anomalous reading when we come to do those things. Uh, we got a more concise result when we did um, Battlefield, but it's still a strange thing. So I just wonder if maybe it reports an incorrect frame rate at times or something, uh, or maybe my frame rates were incorrect previously. So let's take a look at the system that we're going to be using to do these tests. We're using an i7-4790K. My GPU is an MSI GTX 980 Twin Frozer. I've got 16 gig of Corsair Vengeance RAM. The motherboard is an MSI Z97 Gaming 7. And the cooler is a Corsair H100i liquid cooler. Oh, and I also have uh, a CX750M PSU. So anyway, let's have a look at Shadow Play itself. Shadow Play is... Uh, in my opinion, a really clunky, pain in the ass piece of software. I find it quite invasive. It's all over your system all the time. It's in the way. It doesn't affect anything, but it's just like, blah, it's there all the time. Blah, look at me, look, blah, I could do this. Uh, it, so the interface, I hate this. I really fucking hate it. It's just the worst interface I've had of any software that we've got. It, it just, It's just shit. It's really not self-explanatory. It used to be much better than this, but it's not anymore. It's crap now. And someone had to do, why don't we make it, you know, so it's like this cool, and you've, you've ruined it. You've ruined it from, from what it was, and it wasn't that great anyway. Let, let's talk about, let's talk about the um, negatives first with Shadow Play. So the main problem that Shadow Play has, and has always had, is the inability to record a separate audio stream so let's have a look recording stream broadcast gallery where's the damn settings for this uh uh recordings i think here it is no it's not where oh i don't care anyway it's look it's it's on or off mic on push to talk always on or off you cannot separate the audio streams it is a feature that if they added i genuinely would use this software all the time despite the fact that i hate it I would use it constantly because it seems to work so well with my graphics card. It is it just I just get the best results from from Shadow Play. Literally the alter it records exactly what's on my screen. I don't get any any artifact there's nothing that happens to the record at all. The recording is perfect. The file sizes aren't um let's let's close out this bloody thing again. Let's go and have a look. I've just recorded the project cars footage. Uh, and I will now show you the size of, um, where are we going, gameplay video, shadow play, uh, project cars, here will be the second one, which I did, properties. So we're looking at a 748 megabyte file for the project cars footage. When I come to show you this footage, you will be staggered and amazed at the quality that that footage is set at. There's one there, it's one gig. I mean... This is two minutes, 748 meg. It, it it will shock you the quality that you can see from that footage. Okay, it's a little bit dark at times, I find, but that's just you know you can always change that in the in the edits. I won't be for this. Um, I won't be doing that for this thing. Um, you can stream with this. You can add overlays. You can broadcast. You can stream. You can um, record your footage. You've got there's tons of great options. You can do some. If I show you the key binding, there's a little things that you can do. You can do keyboard shortcuts. You can um, quickly save the last five minutes of recorded footage. So you can have it. So it's kind of just watching you what you're doing, and then you can just quickly. So oh yeah, that was great. I'm going to save that bit. I don't know why people do that, but some people I know do do that. So you've got small file sizes coupled with absolutely incredible video footage, let down by the fact that you don't have 
a separate audio stream at all. There is there is no way to do it. So the footage I've just recorded, I'm gonna re I've recorded without um, the without talking, without doing anything else, and um, I'm and that's it. I've just and, and if I want to do anything, I have to do it in post. Uh, when you try and do like a gameplay walkthrough, it really doesn't work. You you know you can record with uh, you can record the audio with Audacity. And record the video with shadow play and have re two really fantastic pieces of audio and video but honestly when you're trying to make videos and you don't have a lot of time because you want to play the game you've got other things to do when you're trying to you know this isn't the only thing that i do youtube isn't the only thing that i i i do with my day um i'm sending emails i'm talking to companies i'm trying to i'm trying to start a business i'm trying to create a piece of software i'm trying to there's a million things that i'm trying to do i don't have time to piss about making sure that i've got my audio in the right place it really is there's easier solutions for me and whilst i could get better results probably if i did it this way the hassle that you can have when you when you know when you pause a recording if you if you just pause a recording for a moment to go and do something else or you stop a recording and then start again the hassle of having to try and find that audio file or have to leave the game to pause and stop your it just it's just ridiculous and it's the biggest failing of shadow play without a shadow of a doubt it's something that apparently is coming in the future but it should be something that's been worked on immediately it's so needed it's so needed uh let's the, the software itself i find irritating this interface i find irritating when you're recording it's not too much of a problem you press f9 you see your fps counter up in the top left corner you've got an icon to show you that you, well, you can put it wherever you like actually but you can have an icon to show you that you are recording when you press f9 it tells you it saved that footage and to date i've not had any issues with losing footage through shadow play which is an absolute bonus in my opinion that's a really really good thing because every other piece of software i've ever used maybe not play claw yet actually i haven't lost anything with play claw so far but most most software i've used i've lost footage for one reason or another so it's really you know that's a really irritating thing um so with with shadow play let's have a look at some of the good features then okay so you can connect to lots all your different um accounts so that you can uh, stream and do everything sort of straight away. You can broadcast that you're doing things. Um, there are overlays. There is an FPS counter, which I say I have mine here, and the status indicator, which I have here. I can move them to these four spots. Um, you can have a camera. Uh, I could put a camera here if I wanted, or and make it big, small. Da -da -da. So it's quite, it's slightly customizable. Um, and then I can have a little uh, indication as to how many people are watching if I wanted to in there. Uh, it, it's pretty, you know, it's functional. It kind of works okay. I like the fact you can customise all the shortcuts. This is really important to me. Being able to customise the software to suit what I want to do is really important. Telling it where to store the files, it's pretty standard, isn't it? Um, this is a feature that's in beta at the moment, and it's a way for people to play your game with you without having to have a copy of the game themselves. So it's a kind of cool feature, but, you know, is it is it necessary? It shouldn't be called stream at least. So stream isn't what you think it is. Stream is actually a, a way for your friends to play online with you if they're on the same Wi-Fi network. So for instance, they don't have to have a copy of a game. Only certain games are enabled at the moment. Um, and maybe they've got an Nvidia Shield or something. They can actually join your gameplay while you're doing. Broadcast is where it's at for um, actually broadcasting yourself to the world as you, as you sort of stream gameplay. But... Uh, they've only got Twitch and YouTube set up, and there isn't. There doesn't seem to be an option to be able to add a, a different, you know, streaming service. So, for instance, if you wanted to use Restream, you're shit out of luck. You just can't do it with this software. It just isn't possible. But it's not too much of an issue. I mean, if you were streaming with this, it'd be a bit weird. Anyway, uh, it, it gives good quality streams, though, uh, and that sort of thing. So, um, and then you've got your standard sort of notifications about the. Let me go back into that and show you some stuff. So you've got standard notifications, uh, whether you can share gameplay, how much money, uh, how much you've saved, screenshots, that sort of stuff. Um, so it, it's kind of standard, but it's re it's not very customizable at all. You can't really customize anything about it. This is the software. It's free, so you can't really moan too much. Um, it's free, but it does this, and that's it. If you wanted to record the last few minutes, you can turn on your instant replay, which means it's always recording you. And then you can do that F10 thing where you, or out F10 or whatever it is, so you can record the last five minutes and save it. And in a nutshell, that really is um, Shadow Play or G4 Spirits, whatever they call it now. Is, is, is it Shadow Play anymore? 
I think it is just called part of Chief Chief Force Experience now. So anyway, look, the point is, is that this could be the best piece of software on the market. It really could be the best piece of software on the market, but it isn't. It's not, and there's only and there's and there's a couple of reasons. One, you, it needs to allow you to set your own broadcasting. You're, ignore this stream crap. This is streaming, okay? This is this is broadcasting is streaming. They should call that broadcast or game show or some shit. Um, you should be allowed to um, pick a different service. Uh, you should be able to pick whatever service you want. In fact, you should be able to stream both of these uh, to both of these at the same time. There's there's no reason why you, sh you shouldn't be able to do that. It's irritating. You can stream in forty forty p. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, anyway, uh, th so that's that's a major letdown. The next, and and the biggest, and the only reason that, that Shadowplay isn't my main uh, recording software, and it probably won't be yours, is it, is the audio issue. If you record footage to the same, if so if you record your audio to the same track as your gameplay, and say for instance someone comes in the room shouting, I need a poo, or whatever, if you've got little kids, that, that can happen. Um, then at the end of the day, uh, that that is going to be on your your track, or you lose that small part of the audio or gameplay. Normally, gameplay you wouldn't just leave a blank bit of audio, would you? Unless you're one of those people that plays music over videos, which some people do. Some people like that. That's that's how it works. So that that's the situation. That's how I feel about Shadow Play. Uh, let's have a look at some of the footage. Um, so let's start with Project Cars. So the footage from Shadow Play is probably the best footage you're going to get. It is literally just, you know, the software has been written for the specific hardware that I'm using and I would never complain about the footage. You can see from this sort of stuff where I've, all I've done is disable resample. So let's just quickly reiterate that. All I'm doing with this footage on all these tests is just disabling resample. That's because of the way Sony Vegas likes to fuck video up and stuff and make it look a bit crap. Um, that's all I've done. So you can see the blacks are a bit too black maybe. So a little bit dark perhaps it's similar to the way the x3 looks when it's had a good day and done well but you can see zero pixelation you you practically are seeing exactly what i saw when i recorded and the file size for this video was 740 something meg i showed you earlier on i've forgotten already now because obviously i'm talking about this post but it's not very big um i did a, a little bit of a longer video where i had a bit of a crash and did some stuff it was a gig you, you know when you're talking about uh, quality video at this low file sizes you're talking about a really awesome piece of software which is completely and utterly let down by the fact that there's no separate audio stream i mean i'm looking at this obviously i'm watching this in uh post and i'm talking to you about it in post and i'm looking at it on a on a screen it's being rendered as we speak i suppose so there are some discrepancies between this and what you actually see with youtube once youtube's had its little crack it's you know ruining it for you a little bit but you know at the end of the day the, the frame rates i was getting were insane i was getting uh, up at this corner i had 116 fps that actually is reporting a higher fps than i was getting when i wasn't recording so i don't know what's going on um w let's move on to the battlefield footage because that will show us more of a an idea about frame rates that seemed a bit more realistic when i was playing now i was averaging about 67 to 80 fps when recording so with battlefield it's one of those games i think it's more cpu intensive anyway um and obviously when you're recording it must be doing something with your cpu but uh so i, I managed to play without any problems um i think the footage again looks amazing absolutely amazing and i really would this free piece of software that comes with your, I say free, you've got to buy a 500 pound graphics card, but if you bought a GTX 960, you would get this piece of software that would work with, with in, in harmony with your GPU and just give you the best looking footage you can possibly get uh, f for free. But you can't do anything with the sound. It's the most frustrating thing. It's been several years since I um, was looking at using Shadow Play. Then I actually ended up buying an NVIDIA graphics card uh, about a year or so, maybe about 18 months ago. And it was since before I bought one, when I was looking at getting one, there is uh, conversations on the forums asking for 
separate audio strings to be added. Now, like I say, you can get around it's a very first world problem. You can get around it by recording with um, recording the audio with something like Audacity and and then marrying that up to marrying marrying that up to your footage once you've actually imported it into Vegas. But it is a pain in the ass, and it's it's a pain in the ass when you're actually recording because if you want to. Um, pause your recording if somebody knocks the door or something's going do you know what I mean Th these things happen you are in a life uh, and you then lose your place and you have to then try and match that back up and when it's something like like shots from a weapon it's a real nightmare you know those three shots are just fired then you'd have to literally find that one small piece of audio with it you spend so much time messing around with it it, it just doesn't make it worth it for me um, I don't I don't see the benefit of having uh, those issues when I could just use another piece of software which gives me very similar results but has a separate audio stream anyway. So if it wasn't for that one phone in Shadow Play would just be an absolute godsend of software. So let's have a look at the results of the tests. And woo wah wee wah look at that. You've got a really anomalous thing there with the um recording project cars where we got 103 I mean it peaked at 116 FPS. Uh, so I really don't know what's going on. I'm going to go back and play Project Cars whilst not recording and just using different software. So just check what the FPS readouts are. Because um, I could do a test with action where I can get an average FPS. And that may be what I do uh, to work out what's actually happening. Because it's an odd reading to say, you know, you get a higher frame rate when you are recording than when you're not. So that, that must be something going on there. So either I was getting a, a false report from uh, other softwares. Or more likely, Shadow Plays reporting a higher frame rate than I'm actually getting. However, when we then add in the uh, Battlefield gameplay, Shadow Play does as well as something like Bandicam. Play Claw still beat it by a couple of FPS, but the quality of footage, I have to say, I think Shadow Play has it. I think Shadow Play has it on the quality side of things. So for that extra couple of FPS, if Shadow Play uh, had a separate audio stream, built into the software then I would absolutely be using shadow play to record all of my videos it is that good so I suppose to sum up then we've got to say that actually shadow play is an incredible piece of software it's a really good achievement and it's fantastic I think it's just called it's not called shadow play so much anymore but that's what everyone knows it as so uh, I think that's what we've got to start calling it but what an incredible piece of software the footage as you can see is is just amazing so if you ever get to see this uh, the people that make Shadow Play or whatever you call it now, NVIDIA GeForce Experience Capture Software System settings, please add a separate audio stream next. Just do that next. Even if you have to sort of like do it so that it control, we can control Audacity and pause Audacity from within something. So you have to have a separate piece of software that you, you know, have the same hotkey for. I mean, why don't I do that myself? That's retarded. I should just be doing that. But anyway, the point is I'm not doing that. You should do it for me because I'm lazy. Uh, Thanks for watching this video. Check out my other videos on capture software. Shadow Play is only an option if you don't have a if you have a uh, an Nvidia graphics card. So you may find that actually it, this is a pointless video for you. But if it's something that you you have the option to use, and you're not really interested in doing commentaries and things like that, if you just you know one of those people that sort of puts music over a video or just does something like that, you would would not be unhappy with the results you will get from shadow play so thanks for watching you're good people got a lot of time for you love you bye <laughs> yeah,